This video will show you how to connect external ESC, either brushless or brush, to the stock WPL D12 electronic or transmitter. I'll explain a bit about D12 electronic. The D12 electronic combines receiver and ESC on a single board or PCB. So, signal from transmitter is captured by this electronic board, and this board also functions as an ESC or electronic speed control to regulate the DC motor speed. This will be a problem if we want to use bigger motor or we want to use a brushless motor like this. We cannot connect the brushless motor to the stock D12 electronic. It can be seen that this motor has three cables, not two like normal brush motor. To run a brushless motor, we also need a brushless ESC like this one, which has three output cables to be connected to the motor. The problem is we cannot connect the external ESC to the D12 electronic by default. So, usually if you want to upgrade the ESC, you have to buy a third-party transmitter that has a separate receiver. If money not the issue, I recommend you to buy a new transmitter to get additional features. For example, I recommend Dumbo RC X6 because it's cheap and has 6 channels. We already made a video about upgrading D12 to brushless system using third-party transmitter. The link is in video description. But if you want to save the money, you can still use stock transmitter with a little modification. So, signal from transmitter will capture by D12 electronic that act as receiver, then send the signal to the external ESC, then to the motor. The ESC function is to provide power to the motor and also to regulate motor speed. So if we use ESC with large power output coupled with a high performance motor, your D12 will run faster and or have bigger torque. This is D12 electronic board. You can see that there is a slot with 4 pins in front of servo pins and beside the ELD pin. There is only one with 4 pins. Remove the plastic cover and you'll see 4 pins that we will use to connect to the external ESC. For your information, there are at least two versions of the D12 PCB to date. This one above is the newer version. Can be seen from the date and code XX339R. The other side look, you can see the old PCB code is XX318R or smaller number than 339R before. Since codes and dates are subject to change, let's take a look at the PCB design. From back side, the newer PCB seems like has more solder. Take a look at the picture. We go back to 4 pins earlier. If you have newer PCB, make the first and third pin from the outside upward. But if you have an old PCB, make the first and last pins upward like this. The function of each pin can be seen in the picture. It's not a big problem if you accidentally switch the servo and ESC signal pins. We'll show you about that later. The important thing to pay attention is never connect the 5V pin. To power the external ESC, we'll take it from the battery line. But we need to take it from the line that goes through the on-off switch. I will use this line. It's same for the old or new PCB. We solder the black cable to the negative and red cable to the positive side. Don't use too small cable. For example, 22AWG is too small in my opinion. Use at least 18AWG or bigger cable. The smaller AWG number, the bigger the cable size, so it's reverse numbering. Adjust the end cable plug based on ESC you are using. For example, in this video, I'll use a GST plug. Don't get confused by this, it's just a type of plug. The important thing is red cable need to be connected to the red cable or positive side and black to black or negative side. Soldering is the last step and now we just need to plug it. By the way, although this video will end soon, but I need to inform you that do this at your own risk, okay? First, we plug the servo cable. Put the ground or brown cable at the outermost position as in video. First, I'll use 20A brush ESC that costs less than 4 US dollar. I'll show you brushless conversion after this. I use an old PCB, so the pins used are first and last pins. 
plug the ground or black cable at the outermost position. Connect the cable from battery line to ESC. Make sure the cable is black to black and red to red. Then connect ESC to DC motor. This is just an example, I use a motor from WPL C40. Finally, we plug the stock battery. The external ESC has its own on off switch. Keep the ESC switch in on position all the time because we will use the 12 on off switch for the whole system. We turn on the transmitter first, then we turn on the D12 electronic on the car. Now we successfully connected. We test it. And everything works normally. This is an example if you switch the ESC to servo pins. This will cause the ESC to be controlled by the steering wheel on transmitter. And the throttle trigger doesn't work. So make sure to check if your D12 electronic PCB is an old or newer version. Now we use the brushless ESC. This is a 35A ESC that costs less than 11 US dollar. For the motor, I use 2430-5800 kV motor. The price is around 13 US dollar. If you want to use more powerful ASC but still affordable, you can use this Sky 120A like this that costs around 18 US dollar. This Sky ESC supports sensor motor, so there is ABC cable indicator. If you use sensor motor, you must connect cable A to A, B to B, and C to C. Don't look at the cable color, but look at the ABC indicator. But for this video, I use a sensorless ESC and motor, so there is no ABC indicator. You can plug the cable randomly. However, I recommend you to connect the center cable first. In this case, I plug the yellow cable to yellow cable. After that, connect the left and right cable. Just plug it randomly. We'll explain it briefly. If you need to know how to install Brussels motor to the gearbox, you can watch the previous video. Link is on video description. We plug the servo cable. The ground or brown cable is on outermost position. Now plug the ESC cable. By the way, make sure none of these pins touch each other. It can cause short circuit. We plug the ESC cable. The ground or black cable is on outermost position. The brushless ESC uses a T-plug. So I use T-plug to GSC plug adapter because I'm lazy to resolder the cable end. And that's it. Now we just connect the stock battery. I tape the ESC plug to the servo plug so it won't come off easily. I use velcro temporary. We turn on the transmitter. But before that, make sure the ESC on off switch is always in on position. We turn on the system using the d electronic switch. All is working normally. Before we continue, let's compare the speed with the stock condition. This D12 uses stock motor, stock electronic, and stock battery. In low speed mode, it shows 1000 RPM on the rear wheel. In high speed mode, it shows 1150 RPM. Now we test the process using the same transmitter and same battery. In low speed mode, it shows 20,055 RPM or twice faster than stock D12. In high speed mode, it is around 20 to 30 RPM. The Brussels motor used in this video, which is 2430-5800 kV, has fairly good performance in my opinion. No cogging or stuttering in low speed, and the torque is enough too. We already test this motor power in our other video. If you use Brussels ESC but it feels less responsive or it is not in its maximum performance, it's probably because your ESC is not symmetrical. This is common in low-priced ESC. 
To fix it, try to switch the motor cable on the left and right and leave the cable in the middle. If you change the position of the two cables, it will reverse the motor rotation and your car will run in opposite direction. If you use third-party transmitter, we can easily fix this by switch the throttle to reverse mode. However, there is no reverse throttle setting on stock transmitter. So the solution is to remove the rear axle, then reverse its position. For example, if the default position is like this, if you flip the axle like this, it will change the direction of wheel's rotation. I hope this video can be useful or inspire some more. Thanks for watching.